<laughs> Guys, printing t-shirts from home used to be a hassle with those transfer papers. Is this white? Is it dark? No idea, let's find out. From having to buy an inkjet printer to cutting out the designs, and then after all that, being limited to the types of clothes you can make and all the mess ups that you're gonna encounter. Don't wanna throw my son in the trash. So you know what? We're gonna go with Press Art Sheets. Today with Press Art Sheets, you'll be able to print full color like a print shop would from home. And in this video, we're gonna be showing you guys how to maximize your profits, start making money, or start making merch for a special event or a special person in your life. Because in this video, I'm actually gonna be designing a t-shirt for my son's second birthday. Let's begin with the graphic design. Press Art Sheets are made with a direct-to-film printer and allow you to print any design in full color without weeding or messy setups. Press Art allows you to print t-shirts from home in just a few Few minutes and you don't even need to purchase a new printer. All you need is to create graphic designs for press art, some t-shirt blanks, and a hot iron, and you're ready to start printing like a pro. Now to get graphic designs, you can use your preferred graphic design program, whether that be Canva, Photoshop, Illustrator, but for the purpose of this tutorial, we're actually gonna use a software that's called Kittle. Like in our previous video that got over a million views, uh, we're actually gonna create a design for a birthday party, but this time it's actually gonna be for my son's birthday, who just turned two, who he's turning two. The inspiration behind this is I wanted it to be really true to his nature because he truly is a wild boy. I looked for some inspiration online and I ran into this Bad Bunny tour. Now with that, I started to create some iterations using AI and to be honest, the first few weren't that great. But then eventually it stumbled onto this graphic of a kid riding a horse. And I kid you not, it looks just like my son before he got his hair cut. After getting this image, we then removed the background and then we actually upscaled it in order to get the best resolution for printing. And since I'm not a designer and we needed some fonts and some elements to really make this design come the life we actually went to templates and we started to look for templates that had the font and border design that could work with this and once we were happy with the graphics we then selected the mock-up mode here in order to decide on the color of the shirts that way it gives us a really good representation of how it would look when it was printed. With the mockups finalized and the direction approved, the graphics were now ready to get downloaded. Now, regardless of what program you're using, it's important that you make sure that there's no background in your image. So you need to make sure that there's a no background mode selected and that you optimize the quality as you need the highest resolution in order to make the best quality prints. And with that all confirmed, we're ready to get our press art from streetcrafter.com. And guys, Streetcrafter is actually a business that we started after spending years in the apparel industry and manufacturing and products. And over the last few years, we've seen clothing brands get started this way. We've seen people make money by reselling to different businesses in their area. Now, in order to get started, I wanna show you guys how you're gonna upload your artwork and get the supplies that you need to start printing t-shirts. Now, you're gonna start by uploading your designs and we actually have a really cool designer tool that allows you to just start uploading graphics. Now, once you upload them, what's important to note is that there's no need to mirror your art. We print exactly as you submit, which is why it's important to have transparent backgrounds. What's really cool about this tool is that you can duplicate your art if you're making multiple shirts. And the goal is to fill up as much space as you can in order to save money. And once you're happy with your order, all you gotta do is check out. And once we receive that order, we'll actually get it and print it in an industrial printer. And then that's gonna be rolled up and shipped to your home. But now we'd love for you guys to give us a try, so make sure you use code PRINTFROMHOME and get 50% off a two by two sheet to sample your first product. And as you can see here, since we ordered a two by five foot sheet, this thing is literally five feet. And with these graphics now on our sheet, we're gonna start cutting this out and pressing. Bring the scissors right down the middle, flip this around and just cut right down the middle again. And we have our first sheet here. And as you can see here, this cut sheet is what we're gonna be pressing onto the shirt. Now let's complete the rest of this to keep this moving forward. The way that press art works is that it actually adheres to the garments with a glue. Now in order for that glue to activate, we need to put temperature and some heat onto it. So reminds me, we gotta start up the actual iron so we can start printing these shirts. Iron, this thing is gonna get this glue hot and we can start pressing. Now the important thing to know about irons is that you don't wanna put any steam. So make sure that it doesn't have any water in it. You want this to be hot and dry. And in order for this to adhere to the t-shirts, we need to get it to 300 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, the beauty about working with press art is that it allows you to press on any garments. So whether you wanna do cotton, polyester, denim, leathers, this, this literally will get stuck on anything that's fabric. Unwrinkle our shirt. Now, just like your mama taught you, you're gonna to wanna to iron this clothing. So this is a good opportunity to show your mom that you care. For those of you guys that are making the merch for the family road trip, you know, show them that you genuinely care by making them something special. 
It's important that we get a flat surface on the t-shirt. We don't want to have anything sticking out or anything bulging. We want it just to be flat. So iron it. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to bring the press art right over it. So we did 8.65 and it measured out to about 15. So this is the design right here. And by folding that sheet right there at the top, you make the halfway mark. That's important to note as you are placing things. You might think this is the square and you put it on here, it's gonna be shifted to the left. So it's all gonna depend on how you cut, but a hack for that is just to fold it down the center. And now labels for t-shirts are usually the center mark. So use the label as a halfway point. So you align the halfway point. If you have big art like I have on this one, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually going to keep it closer to the neck. If your art is smaller, then it's usually a four finger rule down, the, down from the top. But since this is a larger design, we're actually gonna keep it closer to the neck so it's not like hanging down my belly. Like I want it to be prominent, you know? So I'm probably gonna do about two or three fingers max there. We typically press at 300 for 15 seconds. And since the heat is consistent, it comes out really nice, really easy. So we're gonna mimic the same thing using this. And in order to do that, what we gotta do is we're actually gonna place the iron flat onto the actual press art. We're gonna center it, and then we're gonna start moving it around to the different corners for just a few seconds, about two to three seconds on each corner. And then we're gonna actually kind of iron it really smoothly, nothing too crazy. You don't wanna necessarily shift the design. You just wanna be able to get the heat consistently across the entire shirt. So you can pull it off with this, but the only way to guarantee consistent heat and pressure is with the heat press, but it does work with this. And we're gonna be doing the order with this to show you guys that it's real. And now let's come in for the final reveal. Let's, let's peel this baby. <laughs> baby, baby. <laughs> <laughs> money this came out incredible as you can see here full color graphics gradients no limitations on your art blown away by how ai came up with that little guy there because that literally looks like my son and uh people can't believe that we didn't photoshop that bit literally ai came up with my son on a horse <laughs> so awesome so this is one of the shirts you guys can see how it came out check it out oh so now let's press the other t-shirts You wanna kinda of put it down like if you're uh, holding down a kid to change their underwear, it's the best way I could, uh, could describe it. Like I have a two year old, so when I try to change his diaper, I gotta kinda of put some pressure on him so he's not kicking me. He's pooping human turds now. It ain't baby poop no more. Some straight up adult poop coming out that boy. Chicken nuggets? <laughs> we ain't talking chicken nuggets. We talking chicken thighs. He's laughing at me. It's funny because I'm seeing him laughing at me right now. <laughs> He's like, Dad, you gonna change my diaper tonight. <laughs> so anything funny that your kid has said or done recently, leave a comment down below. Let's laugh together. Let's laugh for the misery and for the joy because kids are amazing. There is no misery in having kids. All joy. All right. Even heat. Old table. All right, once you flip it over, so you can see here, the sheet is kind of crumpled. Grab it at the corner. A tip here is to like grab at the corner. You wanna also kind of peel, you hold, you hold the hand here, and you wanna peel it like you're taking a sticker off back in the day. You wanna go at like an angle, a little bit down, a little bit like, like that. So almost like a 45 degree type angle. So you see, the art transferred off of this sheet. That's why it's important that you keep transparent backgrounds or we print it as exactly as you send it because this thing can hold any glue and art and it'll transfer it to the sheet. From here to here. It's like magic. Remember, we are ironing out all the wrinkles just where your art's gonna live. You don't wanna have any creases. <laughs> there it is guys as you can see we printed on a couple of different colors of t-shirts we did a darker brown a lighter brown and a white one and the reason that i did this is to show you guys that there's no color limitation when it comes to using press art it works on any color from as dark of a t-shirt to as light of a t-shirt as you envision for this example i actually knocked out the white in his body that allowed the t-shirt white to shine through 
This gives it a more professional quality feel and print and overall really makes this stand out. And with all that wrapped up, it's time to go reveal it to my wife and family. I'm wearing it. I, I absolutely love this shirt. I don't know what you guys think about it, but it looks legit. It looks like the Blazing 2 Tour was going to be an album, and this kid was about to start laying down some tracks. So let's go check this out and see what they have to say. Okay, hey, what do you think? Whoa. <laughs> Let it come out. How do you guys like it? Oh, good. I got your shirt too. Guys, the shirts were a hit. And even though I printed the shirts for my wife and family, my daughter and son wanted them. So we were short a few for the party, but nonetheless, we had a blast and we honestly showed everybody the potential of what you can do with the Street Crafter method. Now, if you see right here, these are the options that you traditionally had. Just buying the cheap transfer papers really limit you in terms of what you can do. Whereas Street Crafter Press Art gives you the ability to get full on creative. Whatever you design is what you can print and all you need is an iron. And make sure you use the discount code right down below to get 50% off your first two by two sheet. That way you guys can try this out and fully see the capabilities that you got. And if you enjoyed this video and are looking to start up a brand or perhaps take it to the next level, make sure you guys check out this video right here where we talk about designing and marketing your product line. How do you better design and how do you better market to get those sales and grow your company? Check out that video there and I'll see you then.